welcome back to Medita academy so i know it's been a while without any tutorials i've been a bit busy and hectic so right now i've got a bit of time so we're going to be working on this image i'm going to show you how i achieved that bit of a greenish background that i did if you see my instagram post on instagram you can follow me on real made it photography that's my instagram i'll put the handle in the description and the module is v i'll also put a link so let's get into it so first things first we're just gonna crop our picture to four by five that's the instagram ratio so that the instagram won't cut out your image so four by five it's perfect so we're gonna fix up the background a bit it's already clean but we're just gonna make it a bit flat so we're gonna duplicate it let's duplicate the layer go to filter play surface play okay just press ok it's gonna just flatten the image see right now it is flattened like the whole entire image it's not a problem you're just gonna do your selection okay let's wait it for it to load let's wait for it to load okay it's done so just gonna drag your uh, image to this second thing the mask too just the masking just go there click here it open the op properties tab go to color range and select the background go to the plus two just add the part which are not selected you just click in the background mind you just click in the background but we just want to fix the background before but, uh, we have cleaned our background it's clean it's nice okay let's just make the layers and go to the retouching so let's zoom in we're just, just gonna remove some spots we okay, just use this spot healing brush it's faster and easier so you just rub over the blemishes you which you want to remove just go over them over them over them okay over them yeah one thing we are okay mm, you gonna move this okay so I'm gonna be using for the retouch I'm gonna be using my action tab i did share this action tab on my previous videos you can go check it out there's a link for this section tab that you can use for editing also this for this picture for the retouch is gonna go for the ATD in the eye it works for mostly for port no, not for portraits such mostly for knee eye pictures that one works so right now she's like sitting so i think this one will be the best one for this retouch i'm just gonna put another link for this tab this action tab so that you can just download it and you can use this one for your retouches so just gonna say it dni high just click and it will do the magic okay you're done so there are two ways you can do this you can use the brush the normal brush and i don't usually use the normal brush select it to white put it to white you can use the brush for retouch that upper tab you can just use the brush if you want like this this is retouching it's retouching but i don't need i don't usually like using the brush personally i just like the mixer brush more so if you want to use the brush the white brush you just shade you just click the background copy three and just start shading whilst the mask mask is selected you just try it start to shade so i have people who have seen like my actions are not working on their on their pieces 
the other thing which can cause the action not to work is when you the background the first background is named another name if you rename these tabs these sections won't work because they use the default uh, name like duplicate current layer it will be creating the background layer which is in the written background so if you change the name they won't work they won't work uh, select background copy select background copy two they're using this name so once you change those names those default names when you open your bureau pictures once you just change them this section won't work they won't work so let's start using the mixer brush you go select the mixer brush you can just copy the settings above but i think i want to share, also share the settings but you can just copy them so usually when i click the mixer brush for the first time it, it takes the color of the brush see like that white color so i just shade anyway then press ctrl z or mark command z to deselect and it cleans the brush so now the brush is clean you just try <coughs> using the mixer brush so the mixer brush not like using the normal brush the mixer brush you use with the direction you just want to blend the highlights and the mid-tones and the shadows so that it just blend so you use it to the direction like when you, you, you let's say you want to work on these highlights you do on the side of the highlights so that they just blend in you see so let's go to the nose like this like this you see yeah making it blend in okay just blend in just blend in I do have a full tutorial on how to do the frequency separation. You can go and check it out. For now, I'm just gonna use this section. But if you want the uh, frequency separation video, it is there on my page. On the like one of the first first videos I did, it was on frequency separation. So you can go and select that one. So so easy use of the mixer brush. You can just use the brackets like big and small. So when you go tight spaces just use the brackets the right brackets make it bigger the left bracket makes it smaller so just like this makes it faster for you to go around your image okay let's do this go along here image is coming up nice our text it's nice i think i did a lot of videos on this retouch on how to do retouch by now i should have actually got it this is like repetitive but you know what let's just do it wow look at our image it's nice uh, so if you want you can use the sharpen tool I told you don't change the name to this so to use the uh, sharpen action sharp sharpness section so for this to work you have to click the background copy to that first layer that gray layer just click that one and use the they just click to sharpen your image okay image is now sharp it's really sharp very very sharp okay they just made the layers together because we've done our retouch okay so now we're gonna do eye whitening so on our action bar we have this eye teeth whitening just play that one open the folder it creates sort of a folder so open the folder here click the mask take a white brush and just shed on the white part of the eye the white part of the eye like this like this like this so this before after before after so if it's too much for you just well, click on the folder 
increases air into threatening and just reduce the opacity. That is if it's too much for you. Okay. I think you got it. Okay, so what's next? So I'm gonna do something new today. We're gonna try to balance the skin tone. I think I did a video on skin tone, I'm not sure, but we're gonna try to balance the skin tone. So what you wanna do is go here and say gradient. Uh, okay, let's open the gradient. Let's say okay and deselect the eye, the eye thing. Then double tap here, double tap here. Okay. So we want to select part of the skin. So we want to select the darker part first. So we need the darker part of the skin first. This is the darker part. Then we want the medium part. Let's just say here. Here, that's the medium part. And you select the last part on the lighter part lighter part say here okay something is wrong here okay let's put 100 percent yeah like this so here's the darker part medium part and the lighter part make sure both of these upper things they're 100 percent black so you've created a gradient map just say okay and then now just click the I say OK again, click the I2 that we had turned off. So now we're going to choose uh, it's linear light. No, no, it's let me see, let me see, let me see. It's no, it's linear. What color is it? Soft light. Yeah, we can use soft light. Just reduce it a bit. Uh, control I to invent then take the white brush and just start painting over the skin painting over the skin okay let's paint let's paint so what you're doing here you're evening out the skin tone It looks a bit orange you can just control the opacity so that it doesn't look too much okay. let me just reduce a bit that so I want, to I want you to check here this part I want you to check this part. Let me just draw it. I want you to check. Uh, it's just black. I want you to check this part. Yeah, I'm drawing. Okay, let's get a new layer. I want to draw. Yeah, check this part. This part. I want to check this part. When I turn off, see it's a bit purple. Purple, blackish color. But when I turn it on, it's now more even tone. That's what I was talking about. So we have created our even tone. Guys, this picture is nice. Off, on, off, on. We have our even tone. So now we're gonna create that greenish background. So the first thing is first to, to make your look look really nice, like to really blend it. You have to use a gel. So right there I use a three light setup. I had two lights on front uh, with beauty dishes, those 140 centimeter beauty dishes, those big ones. Uh, with the uh, speed light of E860 with a gel, with a cone, covered the cone in the gel, those plastic small gels, which cost like $10. Those are the ones which create that, that thin light over here with that green color effect. So now we're going to enhance the background so it looks green. So what you're gonna do is create a new layer. Uh, okay, you can now select, select subject, select the subject. Okay, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. I don't know why it's taking a while. 
I don't know why it's taking a while. Okay, this little subject. They don't know if it's messy, it's fine. Invent. Don't go go to the top layer that you've created. Now say fill color. So we're gonna choose the green. You can create your own green. Just has to be like almost same to that one, but it's still fine. Say okay. Okay. Fine. So we're gonna reduce the opposite a bit. Yeah. Don't want too much of it. Okay. What's next? So we're gonna create a mask. Then do sort of a circle on your subject like this. Like this. Then you fill it with black color, black, like that. Then you go to filter, play, cash and play, like that, like that, like that. See, it just blends in. Just blends in. Look at the background. It's, it's green. It's matching. It's looking nice, guys. This is how I achieved this look. I don't know if you are feeling it, but for me, I'm, I'm I'm really I'm really feeling it. This is a nice image. It's a nice image. I don't know if you can add more to it, but for me, I think this is good. So I think for our next video, we'll be doing torch and burning. I don't usually do it but i know how it's done so i'm just gonna do a video for that but i think for this one we are good so please guys just like subscribe to my youtube channel share the videos share the action bar you know put another link for this action bar i do have an action for this for this effect so you just choose let me show you how it works i think i did a video for this also i think i, I did demonstrate this okay does so this section has any color background here yeah. so what you do is play it i don't know why it's taking long to load but let's just wait okay so you go to color then so choose the color you want so we said for the last for this image you said green so you just click green okay say okay again then okay so it does everything for you your part is just a little bit color okay just say control d you're done it did everything for you so it works for any color so just delete and do another color just try which color do you want to try? Let's try orange. Orange. So you go on color. Select color. Color. Let's go. Again, it's orange. Yeah, I think this is orange. I'm paid. I'm, I know I'm a photographer, but I'm paid with colors. But I think this is orange. I don't know. Straight orange. What color is it? Yeah, I think that's orange. I don't know. Okay. Okay, 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 okay again. Just say okay again. Then control D. We got our image with an orange background. But for this one, I, I feel like green did the thing because um, you just have to try to make your rim light your backlight with the backlight with the gel with the background so if it's green you just put green if it's red put red if it's blue blue i did i did like another shoot with that same concept and i think people thought that that was the gel which was lighting the whole background but no this is how i did it that means we are we are making the video now too long we'll catch up next time guys bye